surrender of the institution be put on hold. Today, lawmakers on Capitol Hill will discuss whether a more complete analysis of the Obama administration's decision needs to be done. Here to explain, Oregon Congressman Greg Walden, his subcommittee on communications and technology is holding today's meeting. Uh, Congressman, a lot of Americans concerned about giving up control of the Internet. Why are you? Well, I'm concerned because there are foreign countries led by some uh, pretty sketchy people who have sought to take control of the Internet from day one. They want to do it through a United Nations organization, and we can't let that happen. So what are you going to do? What are you going to be discussing today? So part of what we're taking up is legislation uh, from my colleague John Shimkus and Marsha Blackburn that would say that uh, uh, we have to have the GAO, the Independent Government uh, Audit Agency, evaluate any proposal that the Obama administration comes forward. We're going to take into account uh, what it looks like in terms of national security, what it looks like in terms of Internet freedom, what it looks like in terms of, of turning this loose. Because this is a very dangerous proposition. Once let go, I don't think there's a way to ever get it back. And the Internet has been kept free and open from government interference because a it was created in the United States B is governed under our laws and our freedoms and our constitutional protections and I'm real uneasy about just saying here you go right. world take it over right yeah, absolutely and if you think about it too Iran has censored the internet uh, China has censored the internet Turkey has done the same thing what well, will change if we give up give it to this world community well, that's what they're having trouble answering. Uh, we had a, hear a hearing a, a week or so ago and decided to move forward with this legislation. It said they can't turn it over until we see the facts independently and approve it. And so it's really, really dangerous, I think, if they just turn it over to another country, another, another government entity like the United Nations. Now, they say they're not going to do that. But, you know, I, I could not get a good answer about what happens when you let go of the 64-page contract between the United States government and the nonprofit that runs this system now based in the United States, required to be based here, required to be under our laws. They could be set free, and then what happens? Congressman, you're making a lot of sense, and the average American I know has been saying, why are we even doing this? Where's the pressure from? Where's the advantage for us? But the question to you is, what Democrats also are worried and concerned like you are? You know, there are some. Uh, others are pretty defensive about the administration's position, which is unfortunate. We've had bipartisan, in fact, unanimous legislation that I've sponsored passed the House and the Senate uh, last Congress, passed the House this Congress, advocating for all these principles about multi-stakeholder process, Internet governance, free from government interference, all of that. Uh, and so I would hope they would join us on this so that we get the, the facts uh, before the administration can but, take But action. you would say, uh, Chairman, that there is right now there's not one Democrat that you know that would that is on board I, I'm concerned about that that's correct we'll find out certainly when we mark up this legislation starting this afternoon well uh, well good luck uh, I think a lot of people are concerned about it regardless whether they're involved be. or interested in politics or not uh, yeah. chairman Greg Walden thanks so much good to be with you Brian all right uh, 20 minutes now after the hour